Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition of Curator's Corner here at the National Civil War Naval Museum. I'm Jeff Seymour, historian and curator. For this episode I'd like to focus on one of the interesting items along our timeline that we usually have out on display and it's this piece of wood. It is nicely crafted. What is it? It's a belaying pin. Belay to stop or to cover and oftentimes used by officers to belay an order, to stop an order from taking place. Belay that order. But a belaying pin. This is an item that's very common on sailing vessels. On a ship the size of the Hartford, for instance, the flagship of Admiral David Farragut, you've got something to the tune of 30 miles of line operating all the sails. This piece of wood helps hold or belay those lines in place. As the shroud comes down from the mast, you've got a pin rail, belaying pin, with holes inside that rail to slide these pins in. And what you do is you take the line as, it's, as it comes down from the mast and you wrap it around the pin rail and the pin here. Now the beauty of this is when it's time to move those sails, all you've got to do is come along and pull the pin out and all that line is now slack and you and the crew can maneuver those sails and put those sails in exactly the position that you want. So that's a belaying pin. So this is a common item found on sailing ships, very common during the Civil War. Now today if you were to look at, at the tool used for this t the same thing as a belaying pin, it's been replaced by cleats. So it's the same idea, just in a different configuration. So a belaying pin. This particular belaying pin comes from the CSS Florida. The Florida is famous as one of the Confederate Raiders. In October of 1863, the Florida found itself in Bahia, Brazil. Just another example of how our Civil War spills out onto the world's oceans. But the Florida is in Bahia, Brazil, and just outside of Bahia is a ship that's been chasing her, the USS Wachusett. During the evening of October the 7th, 1863, about half the crew is given leave. The officers leave as well, so basically the ship is undefended. Now the thing is, Bahia is a neutral port. Brazil is not part of the American Civil War, so there is a certain expectation of safety. However, the Wachusett, under the command of Napoleon Collins, steams right into Bahia, sends a crew over to the Florida and takes her. One of the sailors Henry Ebsen runs forward to where the anchor is in place, grabs this particular belaying pin, and knocks the bolt that's holding the anchor in place loose so that the anchor be, can be quickly drawn in so that the attacking crew can take the Florida out of Bahia, Brazil. So this is the exact implement that Seaman Ebsen used to do that with. So this is a nice hefty piece of wood. Now of course later on, Collins got in trouble for violating the neutrality of Brazil. Brazil protested to the US government. And Collins found himself in a court martial and was convicted for that violation. However, the U.S. government kind of played around with that and eh, they, they let him back into service. In November of 1864, a little over a year later, the Florida adjudicated by court 
was ordered to be taken back to Brazil, and Brazil had every intentions of returning it to the Confederate Navy. Under mysterious circumstances, in November of 64, near Newport News, Virginia, the Florida struck an Army transport vessel and went down. And strangely enough, the Florida was in no shape to be returned to Brazil. So here is one of those small things that we don't think about aboard a ship that played an important role in one of the most important actions of the navies during the American Civil War. Ladies and gentlemen, come see some of these things along our timeline in our museum. And I'm gonna put it inside its case here so that it is belaying your attention. So come see the belaying pin and all of our exhibits here at the National Civil War Naval Museum, and we hope to see you soon.